Aaron Alexander, he's jumped in the chat and he's mentioned this question a few times because we want to discuss Arsenal. He says, we know Arsenal is now preparing a bid for Rice in July. Would the figure be around 92 million as the media has reported? And also, are there any more infos on Arsenal, Arsenal targeting João Cancelo, which is an interesting one? Oh, on Cancelo, uh, I think what happened is that Arsenal have a good relationship with his agents. And so among the conversations they're having, the name of Joao Cancelo was one of the names they discussed. But it's not clear the future of Cancelo yet. Uh, Thomas Tuchel a few minutes ago was speaking in a press conference and he said, we have to speak at the end of the season. We see him with a very big desire to stay here. So I think at the end of the season, this conversation, Bayern, Manchester City, is going to be crucial to understand what's kind of, what kind of step there will be for Joao Cancelo next. And then for for Declan Rice, uh, first of all, to answer Aaron, I don't think it's going to be July. I think this is going to be June. They want to make a bit in June because they know there is going to be big competition for uh, for Declan Rice. And so Arsenal want to be fast. They are discussing internally at the moment about this bid because they don't want to disturb West Ham while they have this European final and also crucial final games in the, in the Premier League. They don't want to disturb the player. But then in June, when the season will be over, for sure, Arsenal will be there. Uh, they still don't have clear how much they will bid because it depends on the price tag. Every time we heard different price tag around the Clan Rice, once it's 90 million pounds, uh, the other time is 120. So we still don't know how much is going to be the price tag. But for sure, Arsenal will make a bid for the Clan Rice, and the Clan Rice remains the priority of Arsenal for the midfield. Fab, I've been watching your Twitter feed and what I've been seeing, you know, it's probably one of the first times I've probably seen less about Chelsea and much more about Arsenal <laughs> hitting refresh yeah. with the contract extension. One player who was announced this week, and I think the deal is done. Can we give a here we go to that? It's Ramsdale, goalkeeper for Arsenal. It was a cheap deal that they got him in that, and he's really performed. With him getting that contract extension, what does the future now hold for Arsenal backup goalkeeper and U.S. men's national team starter, Matt Turner. Yeah, this is a good question. I think they will they will think to keep him uh, for for one more season as backup goalkeeper. Also, because next year is going to be Champions League, Arsenal will be busy on all the competitions when they want to win. They want to win next season. They feel they are really close to make it happen. This season was really exciting, but then was disappointing in the final seven eight games. But what they did is really special. They changed the mentality of the club, and this is why they want to invest in the summer to sign important players and then to win something next season. So I think the idea is to continue with Ramsdale and with uh, with Turner. To your point, on Ramsdale. I think this is a strong message. I think the Ramsdale deal uh, perfectly explains how Arsenal project has changed. I still remember the day they signed Ramsdale, they had Bert Leno at the club and all the people on social media were criticizing Arsenal. Why we signed this goalkeeper? This is not an elite goalkeeper. What is this signing for that money? So a lot of criticism. They protected the goalkeeper. They protected the player. Mikel Arteta protected him. And now he's one of the best goalkeepers around. So this is showing how Arsenal completely changed their story in the last two years. They trust Ramsdale. The new deal is signed until 2028. And this is a strong message. And they want to continue because now is Ramsdale, Martinelli, the next one is going to be Buka Yosaka. They are in conversations with William Saliba. So they want to get these new deals done before the summer transfer window so they can focus on new signings and not on, uh, on contract issues. Also, important one on Arsenal is about Grani Chaka because Grani Chaka will leave Arsenal in the summer. Yeah. And this is, I think, the big, uh, the big story of the week around, uh, around Arsenal. We can say that it's 90% done with Bayer Leverkusen. So Shaka has decided to leave. He's going to part ways with, uh, with Arsenal. He doesn't want to continue. And also Arsenal are prepared to let him go and to try a different kind of experience. Four-year contract, June 2027. 15 million euros to Arsenal. is not completed yet because they are playing the final games of the, of the season. But I think in June, Granit Xhaka will become new Bayer Leverkusen player.